Welcome back to Esoteric Mastery. Fellow seekers of wisdom, I am humbled and appreciative to see you rejoin our sacred sanctuary of exploration and knowledge. If you're new here, a very warm welcome to you as well. Before we dive into today's video, I kindly ask that if you've been enjoying our content, you show your support by liking and subscribing so that the community we're building here continues to grow and resonate with those seeking answers to the many mysteries that govern our universe. Today, we explore the enigmatic world of dreams and what they really mean. Without further ado, let us now begin. Dreams have been an integral part of human existence throughout history. Since ancient times, individuals have pondered their significance. Early societies perceived dreams as a channel connecting individuals with divine entities, while ancient Greek and Roman cultures associated them with prophetic visions. With the advancement of scientific thought, various interpretations regarding the nature of dreams emerged. Notably, Sigmund Freud, a prominent psychologist, proposed a theory viewing dreams as the royal road, or in other words, a pathway to the subconscious. He posited that by dissecting their apparent symbolism, one could uncover repressed desires underlying psychological conflicts. Moreover, dreams often serve as a wellspring of creativity, generating ideas and imagery that inspire creatives such as artists and musicians, writers, including authors, screenwriters, and poets frequently draw upon their dreams to craft compelling narratives. Nikola Tesla, the Serbian-American inventor, reportedly harnessed the power of the dream state to conceptualize and develop his inventions long before manifesting them in the physical realm. Furthermore, dreams have the potential to offer novel insights into our lives, presenting solutions to everyday dilemmas. Consequently, the exploration of dream symbols and their interpretation has not only become a source of entertainment, but also a means of self-examination. Yet, the fundamental question remains, do dreams possess genuine meaning? Can delving into their symbolism truly unveil our unconscious longings and aspirations? Since ancient times, human fascination with dreams has persisted, evidenced by the enduring efforts to understand and interpret them. Documentation of dream interpretation dates back over three millennia, with the Sumerians of Mesopotamia and the ancient Egyptians among the earliest cultures to explore their significance. Egyptian priests regarded dreams as divine messages, while Greeks and Romans viewed them as important omens, often seeking guidance from their nocturnal visions. Dreams also held religious significance during the Greek and Roman civilizations, believed to convey messages from the gods or departed spirits. Individuals relied on dreams for guidance and insight into future events, constructing special shrines dedicated to dream incubation. The influence of dreams extended even into political and military affairs, with dream interpreters assisting leaders in strategic decision-making. A 2009 study by psychologists Kerry Morwedge and Michael Norton revealed that the impact of this atavism is still present. For example, it can cause people to cancel a trip if they were to dream about a plane crash even more so than when they consciously consider it, when authorities warn of a terrorist threat or when they hear about a crashed plane. In more recent times, the psychological aspect of dreams gained attention. Aristotle proposed that dreams were linked to physiological processes and could offer insights into health conditions. During the Hellenistic period, dreams were associated with healing, leading to the establishment of healing temples where dream-based treatments were practiced. Across various cultures, including China and Egypt, dreams were believed to offer glimpses into a separate realm where the soul wandered during sleep. Dream interpretation was revered, with those who experienced vivid dreams considered blessed or gifted with divine insight. Zhuangzhou, a philosopher, questioned himself in the 3rd century BC in China. Was he truly dreaming of being an insect? Or was the butterfly dreaming of being Zhuangzhou when he woke up from his dream of being a butterfly? In some early societies, people couldn't tell the difference between the dream world and the real world. They believed the dream world to be a more powerful realm in addition to being an extension of reality. Several Mexican and Native American cultures share this idea of a distinct dream realm. They held the belief that their forefathers took non-human forms, such as plants, and lived in their dreams. They considered dreams a chance to visit and communicate with their ancestors. Dreams also helped them figure out what their life's purpose was. However, Interpretations of dreams varied widely throughout history. In the Middle Ages, dreams were often associated with malevolent forces seen as vehicles for demonic influence. 
Conversely, in the early 19th century, dreams were sometimes dismissed as mere products of mundane factors like worry or indigestion. It was not until the late 19th century that Sigmund Freud reintroduced the significance of dreams and emphasized the need for interpretation. His psychoanalytic approach revolutionized the study of dreams, highlighting their symbolic importance and their potential to reveal unconscious desires and conflicts. The analysis of dreams and the debate surrounding their significance have long been contentious subjects. While attempts to decipher dream meanings date back to ancient civilizations, the scientific exploration of dreams is a more recent endeavor. In modern times, various schools of psychology and neuroscience have put forth hypotheses regarding the purpose and interpretation of dreams, from early 20th century pioneers to contemporary neuroscientists, significant contributions have been made to the understanding of dreams. Let's delve into some of these scientific theories. Alfred Adler posited that there exists a correlation between the content of one's dreams and their real-life challenges. According to his theory, a higher frequency of dreams may signify greater difficulties in one's waking existence, whereas experiencing fewer dreams could indicate better psychological well-being and fewer issues. Adler viewed dreams as valuable tools for problem-solving and gaining mastery over one's daily life. Analyzing and bringing dreams into conscious awareness is essential for a deeper understanding of personal challenges. He believed that the insights gleaned from dreams should be applied to improve one's daily experiences. In Adler's perspective, dreams offer a window into the subconscious, revealing inner thoughts, emotions, and actions. They may vividly portray instinctual desires and tendencies, providing an opportunity for self-reflection and growth. Dreams can also serve as a means of compensating for deficiencies in waking life. For example, individuals who struggle to express their emotions in relationships might find that their dreams offer a platform for exploring and communicating these feelings more openly. In this way, dreams provide a safe and acceptable avenue for fulfilling unmet needs and desires. Echoing this, Thomas Edison also famously once said, never go to sleep without a request from your subconscious. Sigmund Freud, widely regarded as one of the most influential psychologists of the 20th century, published The Interpretation of Dreams in 1900, a seminal work in the field of dream analysis. In this book, Freud proposed that the content of dreams is intricately connected to the fulfillment of desires. Despite being rooted in reality, dreams should not be interpreted literally as they diverge from waking life. Instead, Freud argued that the true meaning of a dream lies concealed within the unconscious mind of the dreamer, encompassing ideas and emotions beyond their conscious awareness. Freud introduced the concept of latent content, suggesting that the images and events depicted in dreams serve to mask the dreamer's unconscious desires. Essentially, Freud believed that the content of dreams reflects the individual's deepest aspirations and wishes. Furthermore, Freud outlined the process of dream work, comprising four elements that elucidate how latent content is transformed into the manifest content of dreams. Condensation. Dreams often contain a multitude of thoughts and concepts condensed into single thoughts or visuals. Displacement. This aspect involves the mixing of important and unimportant elements within the dream, obscuring the emotional significance of hidden material. Symbolization. Dreams utilize symbols to represent hidden meanings, further concealing the true content. Secondary revision. Freud proposed that in the final phase of dreaming, the disjointed elements of the dream are reorganized to create a coherent narrative, forming the manifest content. Freud's approach to interpreting dreams was straightforward. Rather than imposing his own interpretations onto his patients' dreams, he encouraged them to engage in free association. This involved letting go of critical thinking and allowing their thoughts to flow freely without suppression of uncomfortable or seemingly irrelevant ideas. Through free association, Freud believed that patients could tap into their unconscious mind. He theorized that dreams were manifestations of suppressed childhood desires revealed through this process of free association and analysis. Carl Jung, a contemporary of Freud, initially shared Freud's views on dream interpretation, heavily influenced by Freud's interpretation of dreams. However, as Jung's theories evolved, he began to diverge from Freud's perspective. Jung believed that dreams served a broader purpose beyond merely reflecting suppressed desires. 
According to Jung's compensation theory, dreams compensate for undeveloped aspects of the psyche in waking life, offering insights into the unconscious. He proposed that dreams often contain symbolic representations of archetypes such as the anima, shadow, animus, and persona. These archetypes symbolize suppressed attitudes and aspects of the individual's psyche. Jung viewed everything as existing in paired opposites, such as male and female, good and evil, or love and hatred. In his theory, the counter-ego, or shadow, operates in opposition to the ego, representing aspects of the self that are rejected or denied acknowledgement. The shadow is characterized as less refined, more primal, and often uncomfortable to confront. Unlike Freud, who assigned specific meanings to symbols, Jung believed that dream interpretation required a deep understanding of the individual dreamer. He emphasized the personal nature of dreams and the importance of exploring their symbolism within the context of the dreamer's unique experiences and psyche. In the 1950s, psychologist Calvin S. Hall proposed a theory regarding dreams, suggesting that they are visual representations of an individual's thoughts and ideas. According to Hall, dreams can be likened to dramatic enactments based on a person's beliefs about themselves, others, conflicts, drives, impulses, and surroundings. Hall posited that interpreting dreams could offer valuable insight into a person's psyche and potentially influence their actions in the waking world. Through the analysis of hundreds of dream diaries, Hall developed a quantitative coding system to categorize the themes and patterns observed in dreams. He viewed dreams as a cognitive process, serving as a pathway to accessing the unconscious mind, where aspects of one's psyche are often unreachable by conscious thought. Contrary to the belief that dreams conceal information, Hall argued that they actually disclose facts about the dreamer, serving as a means of revealing innermost thoughts and explaining behaviors. According to Hall's theory, dream interpretation involves considering various aspects of the dream, including the actions of the dreamer, the elements and characters within the dream, the dreamer's interactions with these characters, and the overall environment, transitions, and conclusion of the dream. The primary objective of dream interpretation, according to Hall, is to understand the dreamer rather than the dream itself. His research indicated that the characteristics exhibited by individuals while awake are often mirrored in their dreams, highlighting the interconnectedness between dream content and waking life experiences. William Domhoff's work, spanning from the 1960s to the release of The Emergence of Dreaming in 2018, marked a significant contribution to the field of dream research. In his studies, Domhoff integrated dream content analysis with advanced brain imaging techniques such as electroencephalography. Through large-scale investigations into dream content, Domhoff discovered that dreams often reflect the thoughts and concerns of the dreamer's waking life. Contrary to earlier theories proposing specific purposes for dreams, Domhoff's research suggests that dreams are more likely a result of the brain's inherent functioning. Domhoff's neurocognitive model proposes that a complex system of schemas and neurological processes governs the dreaming process. These cognitive processes, according to his hypothesis, give rise to the content of dreams. This perspective emphasizes the role of brain mechanisms in shaping dream experiences, offering a neuroscientific explanation for the phenomenon of dreaming. Another theory regarding dreams suggests that they play a role in the consolidation of memories, aiding in the conversion of short-term memories formed during wakefulness into long-term memories. This perspective highlights the potential role of dreaming in the nervous system's processes related to memory formation. While numerous theories have been put forth to explain dreams spanning various disciplines such as evolutionary psychology and neurology, a consensus on the definitive meaning of dreams remains elusive. It's crucial to approach these theories as complementary rather than conflicting explanations, each offering a unique perspective on dreams and their significance. Rather than viewing them as mutually exclusive or definitive, understanding dreams requires considering multiple viewpoints that collectively contribute to a more comprehensive understanding of this complex phenomenon. Whilst some of you may agree or disagree with some of the various theories we've included so far, one thing they don't take into account is the type of dream an individual may have. There are many different types of dreams, and within this section of the video, we will break down what they are, the differences between them, and the potential implications they hold. 
Lucid dreaming or conscious dreaming refers to the state in which a dreamer becomes aware of the fact that they are dreaming while the dream is still in progress. While many individuals may wake up upon this realization, some have developed the ability to maintain lucidity and actively participate in shaping their dreams without awakening. Studies suggest that at least half of individuals experience a lucid dream at some point in their lives, with some achieving this state spontaneously. Common experiences in lucid dreams include the sensation of flying and the ability to influence the dream narrative. Lucid dreaming can be learned and cultivated through practice, allowing dreamers to take control of their dreams and direct them according to their desires. In a lucid state, individuals may feel more empowered to confront threats, leading to increased self-confidence. The benefits of lucid dreaming extend beyond the dream world, as individuals can use this skill to address real-life challenges, improve performance in various endeavors, overcome fears and anxieties, and mentally rehearse future events. Mental practice during lucid dreaming is believed to engage the same neuronal patterns as physical practice, offering a unique opportunity for skill enhancement and preparation. While complete control over lucid dreams is often elusive, individuals can develop techniques to increase the frequency of lucid dreams and enhance their ability to influence dream outcomes. Nightmares are intense and vivid dream experiences that can evoke feelings of terror, anxiety, humiliation, rage or disgust, often leading to waking up from sleep. While nightmares can occur at any age, they are more common in children, affecting approximately 5% to 10% of individuals on a monthly basis or more frequently. Occasional nightmares are typically not cause for concern and may be triggered by various factors such as stressful life events, changes in medication or substance use, sleep disorders, or illness. Anxiety and fear are common emotions experienced during nightmares, which can feature real-life scenarios, as well as fantastical or frightening imagery drawn from the imagination or media consumption. Research suggests that individuals who experience frequent nightmares may possess traits such as openness, sensitivity, and emotional responsiveness. While occasional nightmares may not require intervention, recurrent and distressing nightmares could indicate an underlying sleep disorder or mental health issue, such as sleep apnea, PTSD, anxiety disorder, or depression. Seeking professional help may be advisable for those experiencing frequent or upsetting nightmares, as they can impact overall well-being and indicate underlying psychological or physiological issues. Some scientists suggest that nightmares may serve a function in processing stress and fears, potentially helping to alleviate emotional tension or eliminate distressing memories. Recurring dreams are characterized by their persistence over time, often featuring a consistent plot or theme. While these dreams commonly evoke feelings of fear or anxiety, they may occasionally convey positive experiences as well. Research indicates that up to 70% of women and 65% of men report having recurring dreams. The repetition of these dreams may stem from unresolved issues or neglected aspects of the dreamer's life. Once the underlying problem is addressed or resolved, the recurrence of these dreams typically ceases. Despite their frequent occurrence, individuals often struggle to recall the details of recurring dreams upon waking, quickly returning to their daily routines. However, the messages conveyed in these dreams can be significant and persistent, prompting the dreamer to pay attention and address the issues represented. Recurring dreams often draw upon real-life events and may resemble nightmares, which are characterized by intense feelings of fear, horror, or distress. This heightened emotional response serves as a signal for the dreamer to acknowledge and confront the themes presented in the dream. Various factors, including persistent life challenges, significant life changes, physiological influences, or psychological stresses, can contribute to the manifestation of recurring dreams. By exploring the meanings and connections of these dreams to their waking lives, individuals can gain insight into unresolved issues, fears, or concerns that may require attention or resolution. Prophetic dreams, also known as precognitive or psychic dreams, are those that seemingly foretell future events. According to a survey, 42% of respondents believe they have experienced a dream that later came true, suggesting that many people have had predictive dream experiences and attribute significance to them. 
One explanation for this phenomenon is that the dreaming mind can unconsciously process and piece together fragments of information and observations that might otherwise go unnoticed or be dismissed. In essence, the unconscious mind may assemble knowledge about future events before the conscious mind does. Proponents of prophetic dreams often view them as a form of extrasensory perception, ESP, in which individuals receive knowledge about future occurrences through paranormal means before they actually happen. However, the scientific community generally rejects claims of psychic abilities, offering alternative explanations for dreams that appear prophetic. Scientists suggest that such dreams may be influenced by subconscious desires or expectations, leading individuals to interpret them as reflections of future events. Additionally, the fallibility of memory and the tendency to reinterpret dreams in hindsight can contribute to the perception of prophetic dreams. Some individuals attribute prophetic dreams to divine communication, citing examples from religious texts such as the Bible. However, determining the prophetic nature of a dream is challenging, as confirmation usually occurs after the predicted event has taken place. Moreover, successful cases of prophetic dreams may receive more attention than unsuccessful ones, potentially leading to a skewed perception of their reliability. Ultimately, while some may believe in the predictive power of dreams, the scientific consensus remains skeptical, viewing such occurrences as potentially coincidental or influenced by psychological factors. Dream interpretation and analysis remain areas of ongoing debate and exploration within the scientific community. Psychologist Rubin Nyman highlights the wide spectrum of beliefs regarding dreams, ranging from the perspective that dreams hold no meaning to the notion that they are more significant than waking life itself. Neuropsychologist Alfred Kasniak of the University of Arizona emphasizes that various factors, including daily experiences, social identity, culture and personal history influence dream imagery. As such, the meaning attributed to dreams is subjective and can vary greatly from individual to individual. Despite centuries of inquiry, there is still no consensus among scientists regarding the nature or purpose of dreams. Some researchers propose a mechanistic explanation, suggesting that dreams are merely the brain's way of processing neural activity during sleep without inherent meaning. However, Many within the scientific community reject this reductionist viewpoint, recognizing the potential psychological significance of dreams in reflecting emotions, desires, and subconscious thoughts. The prevailing view among psychological theories is that dreams serve a function in memory consolidation, with dream content often mirroring waking reality. Dream analysis is seen as a means of uncovering the underlying meanings and symbolism within dreams, offering insight into one's psyche and expanding psychological awareness. In contemporary times, many individuals adopt a Freudian perspective on dreams, viewing them as potentially revealing insights into repressed feelings, desires, and subconscious thoughts. Additionally, dreams are often seen as playing a role in memory consolidation, problem solving, and the expression of random brain activity. Dreams are widely recognized as manifestations of the unconscious mind capable of evoking a wide range of emotions and experiences, from horror and excitement to enchantment and arousal. They typically occur beyond the dreamer's conscious control, presenting both inspiring and unsettling scenarios. While Sigmund Freud developed a comprehensive framework for interpreting and analyzing dreams, suggesting they may stem from suppressed childhood memories, the quest to understand the true meaning of dreams has persisted for centuries. However, the elusive nature of dreams and the complexities of human emotions, visions, and memories mean that we may never fully comprehend their origins or significance. In light of this, some argue that it may be more fulfilling to simply embrace and enjoy the experience of dreaming, rather than endlessly trying to decipher their meaning. As we reach the end of today's video, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to everyone who has been following and supporting the channel. If you have any questions about today's video, suggestions for future videos you'd like to see, or constructive feedback, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Your support goes a long way, so if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until we meet again on this path of self-discovery, seeking the mysteries within ourselves and the universe, Stay enlightened, stay curious, and stay connected.